You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out another maker for you. It is a Susie Homemaker Soda Fountain. And thank you for stopping by and taking time out of your day to check out this video. If you can, leave me a comment. Give the video a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. Now, I was looking at the front of the box. Beside it being very tasty looking with all the ice cream, it says make real ice cream sodas with regular home ingredients. Now, a lot of the Susie Homemaker items were in that teal color. This one is yellow. And I noticed these little flower patterns on it, which I repeated on the top and the side of the box. Now, one thing, if you notice on the top, these staples here are still original to the box and has never been out of the box. So it is basically a brand new vintage item. And I am going to open it up today. Let's see if they have a year on it. Copyright 1971 Topper Corp. So Topper Toys. And then as you can see now, I haven't done this juicer. I don't I've done a similar one, but I don't think I've done that one. I haven't done the ice cream maker. I have the ice cream maker, but I have not done it. It has a broken piece on it. That's why I haven't done that one. I've done the super oven, I've done the blender, and I've done a couple versions of the popcorn maker. So how do I get this out of the box? I don't think there's anything down there. I need to grab a few tools because I want to carefully remove these staples. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that because I don't want to just rip it apart. I want to kind of protect the box. All right, so here we go. Now, I don't want to just rip this open because we want to try to preserve it as a older vintage toy. So if we just pry these up, sometimes they pop right out, sometimes they don't. We will see. Okay. Now it does want to it does want to move up. So let me see if I can reach it or see it from here. Okay, so it goes into the other layer. So let me just see if I can bend that. That's a little better. All right, let me hold that up with another little tool. You may wonder why I go to these lengths. Well, to toys like this, especially older toys that have never been out of the box, I try to protect them, protect them, protect them the best I can so that I can restore them back to the way they were. So that's why I go to these lengths. Okay, I think I got that one. I kind of felt it was starting to bend. There we go. All right, so one side is out. Now that should take a little bit. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I just wanted to show you how I was going to do this. So I will come back now when I have the other side off, and then I will open it for the first time on camera with you. All right, here we go. Both are out for me. This is pretty exciting. I hope it's exciting for you, too. That's why I do these videos this way. Okay, first time ever that it's ever been at least open so far. Okay. Ah, there we go. Everything's in there nicely packed. Look at that. I mean, just to find a toy like this that has never been out of the box is pretty neat. Okay, so this just looks like it holds that all that in. Take that out. There's a bag. Okay, it's wrapped in this brown paper. Interesting. So it's a little... And a lot of times I'll use this video to help me put it back in the box the way I found it. Okay, even though everything's been in here for so long, it doesn't look like there's any dust or dirt like it's been sealed. I will still wash everything that it tells me to wash. Okay, and then this whole thing slides out. Take a little bit to get it out, but there we go. Okay, pretty neat. Okay, so all the instructions are on the bottom. There's another little cap. Also finding all the original paperwork. Ooh, and there's original decals. Now these stickers, actually stickers, I will not put on just because they are so old. But that was the pattern I saw on the outside of the box. Remember that? They showed it in the picture. Okay, and there they show you. Now you can be a decorator. Create your own designs with the new Susie Homemaker flower decals. Just feel, just peel flower decals from backing and press onto your Susie Homemaker appliance 
wherever you like. Okay, let's see. Okay, so these are little trays. Let's see, one's a tray and one's a top. So that's probably the top. That's the tray cover. Top, pretty nice little toy it looks like. Now it looks like there will be seals on these. Oh, there you go, it's a pressed on seal. So I do have to make sure that those haven't dried out. Sometimes they do. And I've had to fix things like that in the past. Just doing a little lighting adjustment there. And then there's a little drip tray. This thing looks pretty serious, this little mechanism. Now look, it's actually dirty on the inside, so I will definitely wash that. Don't know what it does just yet, but it looks like it goes on this, doesn't it? And then that screws in. And then that bottle goes into there. Okay, so it doesn't want to just slide in. Okay, so there's these, oops, these metal clips that uh, on each side that looks like is what's holding the pressure, putting pressure on this bottle. There we go, and that locks in. It locked in pretty solid, so hopefully I can get that out easily. Let's come back down here. It's been way up there this whole time because of the box, but pretty neat from the front. Doesn't it have a nice design to it? Okay, let's see. Here is the instructions. And here, you can make many drinks with your Susie, make, Susie, home, Susie Homemaker Soda Fountain. Uh, chocolate milk, sodas, fizzy Kool-Aid. All right. So I'm going to review this now, but let me just give this a quick turnaround here. You will see it will need some cleaning. There's just some probably old, old age to it. It's a nice looking little soda fountain. I like it. And then I'm not sure what this does yet. So does it pump up? Oh yeah, it pumps up, up and down. And then this probably releases the pressure. Okay, so it might need a little bit of effort and I might have to test it a little bit off camera to see how everything's working but I think for now we are good to go so let me gather some supplies here it looks like I'll need some water to clean it fill the soda fill this with milk soda or water up to line on bottle screw the bottle onto the pump tightly lower the pump cover with the bottle into the top of the main unit oh and that is a pump push the pump up and down fully about 15 times pump a few more times if liquid flows slowly okay all right so now that we've seen it, I will come back with some supplies and make my sodas. All right, here we go. Time to set everything up now. Just imagine you got to go back to the 70s. This was probably pretty cool to have way back when. So I've gathered some supplies here. I was able to grab a bunch of my little yellow cup spoons and different items so that I can color coordinate everything. It's kind of nice having all those other miniature food uh, utensils and cups to play with. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. First... I'm going to start with the syrups. Now, it says, specifically says, must use a very thin syrup. So this was for syrups, and you put those, some on each side. Now, I've tested them. They hold. This one's pretty thin, but we will see. I might have to add a little water to that one. And then I brought in one of my blue syrups from my ice shaving machine. That's probably the right thickness because the box shows a very thin, almost clear-like liquid, so we'll see. Okay, I want to get that done. I figured two nice colors, okay? And when I did this, nothing was leaking from the water, so I thought, all right, we're good to go. And I did test the pump, and it, everything seems to be working. So here we go. I'm going to put the nuts on this side because I have ice cream. I'm going to make a little ice cream bowl here because you don't really need to just make sodas they wanted you to get ice cream out and make little sundaes with the nuts and the strawberries and the sodas of course there was three or four recipes in the booklet and one of them is just as simple as using water with a fizzy tablet so i thought well i'll just use the club soda and then i found this little spoon with little holes so i thought that'll work good to allow me to get some of these little cherries out Okay, there we go, the cherry side. I'd say one more. Okay, so basically we are almost set. And now this other bottle here. So this was all 
washed out. I kind of have it prepped and ready to take out, so we'll fill this one up. Now, you can put milk, water, club soda, what else do they say? Uh, club soda, water, or milk. So you can make chocolate milk with this just by doing that and putting a thin chocolate syrup in. Okay, here we go. Now there is a fill line on this. And it's right here, it looks like. Let's see, it says, do not fill above this line. That's because we're gonna need to add some water. I mean, some air pressure in there when we pump it up. Okay, so. Now it doesn't really make like a foamy spray like a soda foam, but it does let you pump it up. So let's do this here. Okay, that's on. I'm gonna pump it up here first. It said 15 times and kind of easier to do it off to the side here. Okay, and more if necessary. Okay, so let's just say I'm gonna make a little strawberry soda. So let me grab one of these cups. Remember now, you can't have cups that are too tall. It's meant for little cups. Let me put some of my strawberry flavor in. Well, this cup is almost too big for this, but let's just see here. Here, well, let me bring this in here and do it on a side angle so you can see. We'll see if it will work. Okay, yes, it is working. Check it out. So now I'm having strawberry syrup. Not the best size cup for this, by the way, but it is a good size for this one. So now let's see if we get any pressure built here. It says push. Okay, no pressure. Let's do it again. There we go, so there was some pressure. They also said you could add ice cream to this one. And yes, you have to keep pumping. It seems like it only holds so much pressure. I was thinking it'd be like, psh, you know, really. Okay, so let's just say that's enough for based on the amount I have in there. Okay, so we got a little strawberry water going. Here, let me scoop in a little ice cream and then I'll give this one a taste. So that's what it said. It said club soda, syrup, and ice cream if desired. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. Here, I'll tell you what, maybe I should transfer that one. I was thinking I'd get more. Let me uh, put it in this one here so you can kind of get a better idea. Ooh, look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? All right, so I will give this one a little taste, it came out very pink. Mmm, it's actually pretty good. Strawberry flavor. All right, so another one. Oh, look, this one's leaking and this one's leaking now. So, these probably do have issues. They weren't leaking before. Let me get another bigger cup. Let me put a fizzy tablet in here. So they said, fizzy tablet, pour water into bottle, put a fizzy tablet, into your cup, okay? Now it could just be that these need a little up pressure to stop them. Let me wipe them off. It could be too that I'm shaking it and stuff. Okay, so here we go, let's uh, Give you the best here. Let me do this. Let me move a few things around see if I can get a better shot right in there And we'll see how this one fizzes up. All right, so I took that tablet out I'm gonna put a smaller piece in because those big tablets are for larger cups. Here we go Let's pump this up. I notice that it's still leaking sometimes when I shake on those other ones but, You know, it's just after so long the seals probably have gone bad on that Okay, let's see if we get any Just a little but I hear the fizz Hopefully you can see in there enough. So it does say, pump a few more times if liquid flows slowly. So I'm guessing you have to just keep pumping every time you want to get a little bit out. 
you have to work for your sodas. Let me do it one more time. It is creating pressure, that's for sure. Okay, so I believe that's lemon flavored. Let me move this out. Oh, this one's really leaking here. All right, let me get my spoon. Yeah, it's still got some carbonated fizz to it. Here we go. Yep, lemonade. I know those tablets are good because I have used them before. All right, I'm gonna clean up again just because I'm going to make now a little Sunday here. Okay, all good. I did want to switch this out, so I'm gonna pull this up. And then I'm going to switch it out to some milk. I want to see how milk comes out of this. I'll just got a measuring cup off to the side. And here is some milk. I'm gonna make my Sunday, but I'm gonna do it like I remember doing it back when I was younger, I used to take milk and put it in my bowl with my ice cream. Any of you ever do that? Okay. Let's get this back on. Okay, let me bring in a bowl. That looks good. Actually, I think I like the shape of that one better. So let's do this one. And we will get some of my ice cream in there. Nice healthy scoop. And we'll put some nuts on it. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. You got your friends over, right? And you're gonna create them a little. Yeah, this one is really leaking, so I might have to look into that one a little bit. Strawberry on top, strawberry cherry. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna put a little syrup on this one. Let's see, maybe I'll do this here. And I'll be able to spread it real nice. It looks pretty good, huh? All right, now the milk. Let's see, will that stay? All right, let me pump this up and we'll see how the, uh, the milk comes out of this. There we go. I hear like there's a little air leakage, so I wonder if just the seal is bad on this, based on the age. It is pumping a lot better than it originally was. And I did add some uh, lubricant to that because it was not working too well originally. Okay, let's see. I just want to see if we can get some milk out of there on my little ice cream dessert. Here we go. There we go. Got a little bit of the soda still in there, but... Okay, let's do it one more time. Now, I used to do this. I used to mix it up almost into like a milkshake in my bowl. I bet you someone does that. Someone out there does that. Got a vouch for me on that. Okay, not that much pressure, but still. Something I'm going to taste. Here we go. I gotta have that. So I would just take this here. I'll show you. Mmm. How could you go wrong with that? So I would just do this till it's almost milkshake-like. I'd probably put a little less liquid, but some of the club soda escaped on me. There, now look at it. Okay, I do want to do one more thing besides take another bite. I'm going to get some of this blue liquid out because I just want to see it. That's two. Here, I'll use this. Here we go. Ah, see it dropping? I had to use it. Now this goes on uh, shaved ice, and I know it's good. It's blue raspberry. I made it a while ago. At the beginning of the summer. Okay. Now there were a few more things I think I will not do, like the chocolate milk. There's not much to that one. And then the Kool-Aid. Put water into the bottle, put a small amount of Kool-Aid into your cup. That's pretty simple. So I won't do that one. So I have that. I have this, the fizzy, and then this. Which of the three 
would you like to try? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. I know it's been a while since I've done a maker like this. I do have a bunch more, and I will slowly get to them. And if you can, leave me a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up. It'll really help Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.